Good evening. Ya lista para reír conmigo, ¿verdad, Jennifer? <risa> Buenas noches, ¿qué tal? Está Por... muteada, está muteada. Sí, ya me di cuenta. Okay. ¿Y por qué no enciende la cámara, hombre? Hoy no quiere que lo molesten, ¿qué dónde está? Eh, 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 eh. Aquí estoy como siempre echando relajo. Se nota cuando usted no está en la clase. ¿Por qué? Hay eh, silencio. Y vos. Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. Hello. Hey, teacher, me llegues el look. Se quitó unos 15 años. En serio. Sí, neta, se ve bien, men. Always, oh, yo, always. Yo. Ah, sí, Una de este. Ok, vale. <risa> no, eso no es falta de modestia, es que es más real. No, 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 es, es modestia aparte. <risa> Ajá. How was your weekend, guys? Was it good? Yeah, working. Yes. Yeah, Jose Miguel always working. Yes. Making money, making money. <laughs> Qué chivo, bueno. Sure. Yep. Ah, who's writing? Okay, Good people. Good evening, William. Good evening. Let's get it started today. Okay, let's start with the first attendance of the evening. Let me... Of the attendance. Okay, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Okay, welcome. Consuelo Saraí Rivas. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, Eric de Nilsson Escobar. Present teacher. Eh, 
people, cameras on. No se han peinado como usted, teacher. Ah, uh, but cameras must be on. That's a requirement for me, so for guys. Ah, le va a poner ser el conducto. Eric Jose Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Is he? Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Present. Okay. okay. Hernán Antonio Chacón. Hernán. Cámaras encendidas, gente. Cámaras encendidas. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher. Ok. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Good. José Abel Izaguirre. Here present teacher. Eh, pues, después, José Miguel Maza, present, good, Juan Antonio Elías, present teacher, okay. Luis Miguel Corvera, present teacher, good, Marcos Vidal Umaña, Present teacher. Ok. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present teacher. Good. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Yes. Present teacher. Good. René Alessandro Teresón. Present teacher. Ok. Ruta Abigail Brito. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Sofía Carolina Hernández. Sofía, no chat. Uh. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Uh. <coughs> Jorge Luis Martínez. Good evening. Present good, teacher. Good evening. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay. Okay, let me share the screen to start with this. Would like. Well, the last class we were talking about this would like. in progress. What's that? Musica techno era. Okay, to finish the previous lesson, we are going to read uh, this article about printers. Printers. This article is about printer qualities. And there are a few questions about the article. Okay. Just to practice or just to Ah, 
Let me read it for you first. And then you are going to work. Printer qualities. Well, color. Color is important for users who need to print pages or presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be said to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. <clears throat> resolution. Printer resolution the sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch or DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printers treat as a large image. Okay. So there are five questions here about the article. It's not my opinion, it's not your opinion. You only can respond with information from the article. Okay, that's important. Why is color important for some users? What does DPI stand for? Why are color printers more expensive? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Okay, I'm going to put you in groups and I want you to respond to these questions according to the information in the article. I repeat, it's not what you know, it's not what you think, it's not your opinion, it's not that, no. You, have, you are going to respond with information on the article. Okay, that's it. Aha, uh -huh, Tony, you have any question? Uh, for one word, unexpensive. It's not more easy to understand when I say cheaper. The thing is that cheap sometimes is, it means bad quality. You know, when something is cheap, not always, but sometimes uh, means that it's bad quality. For example, uh, a Chinese product, you say, oh, that's cheap. Yeah. And the reason of the low price is because of the bad quality. 
when you say unexpensive means that it doesn't cost too much but is good quality okay any other question yes and the other question is the pronunciation of since do you say since but i uh, i always say signs uh, it's covered when i say signs or uh, may i uh, uh, correct the, this word in with the correct pronunciation with since you mean this word since yeah since sign well i have always heard since since yeah okay mm -hmm. okay Okay, any other question, people? So I will send you to work in groups to respond this exercise, to complete this exercise. Okay. Okay, join your groups, please. Read the information again and respond to the question.
imprime mucho. Es importante para alguien que imprime mucho. Yo diría, bueno, yo lo veo bajo, bajo la perspectiva de la, de la velocidad. También. What is something? ¿A qué podríamos responder? Le ponemos solo eso donde dice que son mucho más rápidas. Eh. Dice, la pregunta es, ¿por qué las de, por qué las impresoras a color son más caras? Yeah. Because eh, eh, un color printer is slower o sea, porque una, una impresora yo digo que el el color print is lower. Sí, ¿verdad? Are bridges one color and one black? Eh, arriba, era es importante. Aquí es bien. importante para alguien que imprime mucho. En en country, en country. Mm -hmm. Cartridge. 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 One color and one black ink. ¿Cómo? Porque usan dos, dos cartuchos, uno en color y uno en blanco y negro. Un cartucho blanco y negro. ¿Cómo es la fórmula entonces? Ya lo pueden bajar. Ahorita. Dice, what is something important for para alguien que usa Ajá, que es algo importante para alguien que imprime mucho mm, La velocidad Pues sí, entonces así lo dejamos con esa respuesta uh -huh. Miguel, vos qué decís Reitalo, Luis Miguel.
color and one oh, and one black ink that need to be replaced after certain number of page. User who don't have a specific need to, for color and who prints a lot of pa page will find a black and white printer cheater to operate. Dice que, que para algunas personas el color es muy importante porque us, uh, hacen presentaciones e, e imprimen mapas y en otras páginas donde el color es parte importante de la información. Dice que algunas impresoras también pueden ser seteadas para ser usadas solo en blanco y negro. Eh, las impresoras a color son más caras de operar desde que ellos usan ¿Cómo era la última, Vigel? Me había quedado por aquí en la cuatro. ¿Qué cuenta es la capacidad de la memoria que traen las impresoras? La respuesta está en la cinco, donde dice memory. No. No, ahí no necesitan memorias. Por ejemplo, un megabyte. That can be expanded by the user. Es, sí. Yo creo que podríamos reemplazarla, digo. O sea. Pues sí, ya que tenemos tiempo. Eh. Todavía tenemos tiempo. Quiere nos turnamos las partes que vamos a leer. Sí, es que ya estoy terminando de la frase esta de escribirla. Ya. Ah. <risa> ya, Está bien, ya. lo espero. De... Sí, es que como estés. Que no decía cheaper en vez de un expensive. Y él estaba explicando de que cheaper es como sinónimo barato, como cuando uno encuentra, digamos, este, no sé si a ustedes les ha pasado, repuestos chinos. Y después le dicen repuesto japonés. Ah, ¿cuál prefiere? ¿El chino o el japonés? O el taiwanés, decían antes. No, es que el, el chipper es sinónimo de barato, pero de mala calidad. Un expensive es sinónimo de no tan barato, no tan... Expensive es caro, ¿verdad? No tan caro, pero de buena calidad. No tan... Ajá. Sí, que no tan caro, pero de buena calidad. Así sería la manera en la cual la traducía. Si lo, si lo traemos al, okay. al ejemplo telefónico, sería como gama media. Algo así, ajá, algo así. O sea, no se van a la parte más alta en los precios. Vea que, aunque ahora está súper super valorado, teléfonos de mil dólares que no lo valen. Eh, sí. Pero es solamente como está tú, vea. Pero ya cuando uno va a los teléfonos de 600, de 500, de 400, sigue siendo de muy buena calidad, de muy buen rendimiento pero no son los más altos. Claro, ¿verdad? Uno quisiera con teléfonos de 100 tener todo lo de arriba, pero ahora, de ahí están entonces los baratos y los baratísimos. Los cheapers serían cuáles, digamos, los barritas, vean, los, los teléfonos solo de tecla.
Okay, welcome back. Good. Okay, the first question says, why is color important for some users? Let's go to that paragraph and give me your answer, people. Why is color important for some users? Okay, I will ask group, um, Group one, we have five groups and five questions. Okay, perfect. Group one, give me the answer for question one, please. Why is color important? So important for some users. Group one are uh, Jose Abel, Jose Fernando, Sofia, and Tony. Okay. Ya tenemos la respuesta, pero quiero que alguno de los compañeros la diga. Se las mandé. Ok, dele, yo la voy a leer. Ok, dele. the first question. What, why is color important for some users? It's important because they need to print page of presentation, maps, and other page where the colors are important for the users. Okay, so the answer is in this part. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, okay, great. Now, number two. Team two are um, mm -mm. Eric, Evelyn, Jennifer, and William. That is team two. Question two is, what does DPI stand for? Um, when DPI represents the quality of the image and text on the paper. Sharpness. Aha, uh -huh. but okay. When they, when a question is, what does DPI stand for? They are asking you for the meaning of DPI. Uh, dot per inch. Yes, that's right. Exactly, dots per inch. This is the meaning of DPI. And of course, as you said, that uh, depending on the DPIs, uh, the quality of printing will be better or worse. So the quality of, of printing depends on the DPIs of a printer, right? So, but DPI is dots per inch. Okay, good. Question three, why are color printers more expensive? Team three, please. Alexander, Consuelo, Eric Jose, and Rene. Why are color printers more expensive? Yeah. Hello, team three. Uh, for, because they had a higher for resolution. Because they had a higher resolution. Ah, where did you find that information? Because 
Pensai printers are much faster colors. Mm. We are not talking about resolution. We are talking about color printers. The question is, why are color printers more expensive? The answer is here, look. Here. Pero ahí dice, color printer are more expensive to operate. No. We to operate. Okay. Concuerda con. No. Because they use two in cartridge, one color and one black. Ink. For me, that is the answer. Uh, of course that uh, resolution the, uh, affects the, the cost but not all the not all the we are not talking about resolution we are talking about the color um, because they use two cartridges cartridges yeah. Cartridges, 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 cartridges. Uh, two cartridges. That's why they are more expensive because they use two cartridges. That's it, basically. Uh, me a color. Okay, question four. What is something important for some? for someone who prints a lot. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? Team four, yes. Atilio, Jennifer, Gabriela, Jorge, and Jose Miguel. The speed, because uh, more expensive printers are more, fa are more fast. Okay. Uh, Something important for someone who prints a lot. You're printing speed? Ah, okay. The speed. The, the speed, speed, of, speed the of, printer. of the printer. Yes. If you do so much, if you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. And more expensive printers are much faster. Yes, but we are not, not talking about cost. We are not talking about price. Okay. So, but Only if I, speed print. If I print a lot, the speed is important for me. Okay. If I have Chunks, to pay more, short Device no is important. Well, if I need a, a fast printer, you, you need, need a, a expensive the printer. Is more expensive. I mean, yeah, so I, I don't care. Uh, so I, I'm not looking a better price. I'm looking I'm looking for speed. All right. That's I know that you say, well, if I can pay less or, or well. but uh, as I told you, it is not our opinion. It, it is the information that we have here, basically. Maybe the, the two things is important. <laughs> more speed, more expensive. <laughs> yeah, for, for you, but it's not the information that we have here. It's not for... <laughs> <laughs> no es lo que vos pensás, bicho. <laughs> Gracias. Yes, I know, I know that we tend to, uh, but uh, don't worry. 
Okay, number five. What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? What is the amount? Okay, team five. Team five are are, are, are Hernan, Luis Miguel, Marcos, and Nelson. What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? And most printer can come with a small amount of memory. For example, uh, one megabyte. Ah, oh, yes, that's, that's the information in the article, right? Great. Uh, one megabyte, that is, according to the article, that's the amount of memory that most printers come. Can you show me the third, the third answer? Third, why are color printers more expensive? Yeah. Because color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges. All right, I may mistake in this answer. Okay. Okay, I remember this is just a reading, a comprehension activity, not, uh, it's not the best information about printers, of course. Okie dokie. Okay, now uh, let's do something. Um, please choose at least five new words from this article. Five new words. One, since, two, three, four. Yes, only five. Since, size, and I don't know what this is. Car bridge. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Car bridge. Choose Car them and, and write the five words on the chat. Okay. But the five words together. Pongan la junta las, las cinco palabras nuevas para ustedes. Sure. ¿Cómo se llaman las palabras que son palabras raíces en varios idiomas? Por ejemplo, per. Palabras raíces en varios idiomas. Ajá, porque eh, per en español existe también, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, per cápita, que hace mención de una distribución entre entre varias cosas, igual aquí es como una distribución entre las pulgadas. Mm. Palabras de origen latino, ¿será? Palabras de origen Palabra latino, latino. Eso, eso era, eso era. Que no cambian en diferentes. No es más ah. bien que no cambian, se usan en diferentes lenguas, en diferentes idiomas, perdón. Ok. Hice eso por estar despierto a las 3 de la mañana. <risa> ok.
Well, let's take the second attendance while you work on that. I'm going to take the second attendance. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Great. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present. Good. Enrique Denil Escobar. Present. Okay. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Present. Great. Sunday at the stadium. Hernan Antonio Chacon. Present teacher. Okay. <laughs> hey, $25. No, too much. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher. <laughs> Hey, Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Good. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Here, present teacher. Great. Jose Miguel Maza. Eh, eh, present. Eh, eh. Juan Antonio Elías. <laughs> present teacher. <laughs> oh, oh. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present. Good. Marco Vidal Lumaña. Present. Ok. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present. Ok. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Good. René Alessandro Teresón. Here I am, Bishop. Ok. Ruth Abigail Brito. Ruth. No more. Eh, Sofía Carolina Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, Sofía, the personal session is with you tonight. Tonight? Okay. Yes. Tonight, 10 extra minutes for you. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Uh, okay. Jorge Luis Martinez. Present teacher. Good. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay, let me see the new vocabulary. Okay. Cartridges. Mm -hmm. Ink. Cheaper. So, you know, the, the adjective is cheap. When we say cheaper. Y barato. Is, yes, is the comparative form. Se llama eso. Eso en un futuro lo van a ver. Cheaper es más barato. Cheap, barato. ¿verdad? Claro. Cheaper es más barato. Yeah. Yo porque lo escuché en una canción. Cheap perfume. Perfume. Cheap perfume. Oh. Atuli. Yo una expresión. Claro, cheaper. No, no. Es otra cosa, chico. Yo lo Measure, en otra cosa, pero otra. Measure and purposes. Ok. Cartridges, sharpness. Mm. Inexpensive, sharpness, purposes, measured cartridges. Great. And what is the meaning of sharpness? Comunitides. Nitides. Could be, yes. Looks very good. Yes. 
sería para singular. Okay, no more questions. Let's continue. Look at these questions here. Do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Do you ever fill complaint forms? Do you do this? Do you complain of broken uh, Items, broken machines, broken devices at work. Do you have to fill out complaint forms or no? Yes, in <laughs> other companies, but yes. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ever fill the complaint forms? I I filled out a complaint form, but for La Curacao. <laughs> yeah, oh, <no>. actually. <laughs> it's more cheaper, but quality. <laughs> well, no, okay. I, I, I purchased a microwave in October. And last month, it get on oh. fire. <laughs> <laughs> Le metieron no, papel aluminio. No, no trabajo ahí. No, no, no. Estoy de vacaciones. No. Este profesorcito por aquí tenemos alguien que le puede ayudar y que tiene mucha Solo, solo, por, sabe, solo por, por curiosidad, ¿qué marca era? Whirlpool. Oh. The Whirlpool. Eso es raro. La mamá de yeah. pensamiento está en la... En la clase I don't no know. Estar poseído, tanto brinco que da que... <laughs> I don't know what happened, but uh, uh, I, I was using, I, I used the auto cleaning button. The auto cleaning. Automatic cleaning. Y ese fue. Yes. It was empty. No tenía nada dentro. And suddenly... <laughs> <laughs> on fire. Ah, oh. <laughs> es que no lo vendí yo. No. El, el dólar city de los electrodomésticos. <laughs> ah, ya oh. tampoco, eh. <laughs> sí. Pero igual seguimos siendo la número uno en el país. Wow. No, yeah, I know they are going to change it. I hope. Pero en cosas arruinadas. <laughs> I hope they are going to give me a new one. I said it. I hope. Yes. I, returned, I returned it. And, but I've been waiting two weeks now. Two weeks waiting. No había quizá. No, Ay. pero suele, suele suceder. Hace una semana nos pidieron retirar un producto de toda la tienda porque sí nos informaron que venían con ese defecto. Pero oh. no hagan la bulla. No les voy a decir que era. Okay. Okay. <risa> los tiní. No, no, no. no <risa> Let's talk about cell phones then. Ah. Ah, ahí no van a decir nada. La computer. What do you need, eh? Ah. IPhone, Samsung, Xiaomi. <laughs> we have all of I like I like Huawei, but they, it's a mess. It's a problem that they don't take uh, uh, Google service. Google, Google service. service. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same team. It's the same team. Really? No. Yeah. Okay. The the only the same <laughs> Yo pienso que estamos expuestos siempre a ese tipo de situaciones, pero esto creo que nos da la oportunidad de expresarnos en inglés, así que todas las quejas en inglés. 
that's the, that's the idea. Si that's... No, no vale. You can use all the apps in, in as a service online. It's really? Don't, oh. You don't, don't need the app. Because I like Huawei. They are really good. Uh, yeah, I have one. Yeah. Samsung, Xiaomi, what do you need? <laughs> For free? <laughs> no, no. Three, Anyone? Three phone. Okay. Para diferente? No, free. Persona, me imagino, tiene tres teléfonos. <laughs> okay, complaints. So, hmm. It's interesting. Well, how can I ask you this? Um, how, let's, let's think about as a customer, imagine you as a customer, you as a client. The no. question is, how do you act? How do you behave as a client when the product is bad? So angry. So angry. Ah, yeah. Really? I, so you're in my case, man. You're a bad client. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like Tony. <laughs> uh, really, Tony? Are you uh, an angry customer? No. 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 Uh, no. No. No, it's angry, but como se dice. Exigente. Exigente. Demanding. Demanding. Pues por, yeah. lo, por, lo, por lo general, todos los jefes tienden a ser así. Nelson, Ajá. Nelson. Ajá, Nelson is. For two. Ah. <laughs> oh, really? Demanding. Yeah. Elevated at the second potent. potent. Ah. Potent. Okay. Okay. More, more than anything uh, in, in food uh -huh. is bad client. Oh, really? Who? Nelson. Oh, when you no. go to a restaurant and they give you something bad. Yeah. La sal he, was, la he was a, a manager of Pizza Hut. And the expectative of the product is so, so high. Higher. Higher. Uh -huh. higher. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Mm. Yes. La sal no está salada, le dice. <laughs> oh, especially when it's not cheap. If yeah. you think the people pay for, for something, yeah, maybe, ¿cómo se dice ganar? We. No, 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 pero Earn. de salario. De salario. Earn. 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 The earns in maybe one year, two year, one month. What else? De necesitan obtener lo, por lo que pagaron. Bro. And yeah, that's right. So you need to, if you pay for something, you want that, right? You want that, yeah? Best quality, you know. But that doesn't mean that you have to be rude. Yeah. Sometimes. You know what I mean? Well, but. Se encuentra José Miguel atendiendo a mi Because some, some clients are rude. You know what I mean with rude? Rude. Yeah. Not polite. It's the opposite of polite. Polite is with good manners. You ask, please. You say, thank you. Those are good manners. Okay. Rude is the opposite. You are offensive. You are yeah. angry. You use profane or bad words. That is rude. You don't have to be rude. Okay, but we are talking about complaints. And this, and this 
lesson is about complaints. Let's see. This is a short conversation between Mike and Maria. Let me read it first. Thank you for calling, calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, again. And I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I mean, computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Very nice. Now repeat, please. Thank you for calling the IT department. Thank you, Thank you for, for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Hello, Hello my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday. It didn't turn on today. It was, it was very slow yesterday, and I didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can Let send me. a new computer in no time. Let me, Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Great. Oh, I am Mike. You are Maria, okay? Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello. Hello, my, Hello, name, my name is Maria Ochoa. And I need I to fill a computer about my work terminal computer. computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was, it was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. Good. Now, you are Mike, and I am Maria. You begin. One, two, three. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Uh, I am sorry to hear that. To hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone, someone with a company who can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. 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 Yes, very good. Uh, uh, um. Any question with the conversation? Yes, I have two questions. Okay. When I say I need to present a complaint, I say present. But um, this is a synonymous or is the real form to say uh, 
that I need a, uh, uh, a shovel complaint. Yeah, usually this is the 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 colloquial form. The verb. The verb. No, actually, it's formal. It's, you need to file a complaint. It, actually, we use this when you also when you present your tax, your taxes, you file your tax. Um, that is the but word it, they, they, they use. But if I say present a form tax formulary, is is um, is good too or not? It's understandable, but it's not the way they say it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the second question is for um, send a new computer in no time. Um, maybe uh, it's possible that say uh, with a few moments in a few hours to say the Yes, it's another, it's another way to say immediately, shortly, okay. soon. Yeah, it's another way to say that. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Um, so what what is the meaning of a complaint form? What is a form? Page. Or page. Thing. It's more than only a page. ¿Cuál era la palabra que nos dijo la vez pasada que... Eh, que, que se usaba para hacer como un cuestionario de, de, para describir el, el, el problema. Question. Cuestionario. Uh. I don't remember what it is. A form, uh, formulary, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, but that is a word, form. Okay, un formulario, un, that, that is the word form, okay? So I want to make it clear so para que no lo interpreten como forma, ¿verdad? So you, you feel, there are many, many, reasons or many places where you need to fill out a form fill fill out so I, i'm talking about llenar no fill out a form okay you fill out a form uh, i don't know when you when you go for your dewey you fill out a form when you request a, like a, a, a license at the Seguro Social, you fill out a form. Okay, so un, un formulario, no? That is the meaning of the word form. Um, okay, so. There are many offices or many reasons at work where you have to fill out a form. And this is a complaint form. Okay. Well, I don't think. Now, um, I'm going to send you to working groups uh, to practice the conversation. And after that, so please respond these two questions, okay? What expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? 
and what seems to be the problem with the computer. All right. Good, so let's form groups again. Okay, practice the conversation, please, in your groups, take turns and respond to questions.
Okay, it is time to practice, to present your conversations. Okay, so let's start with Pedro and Atilio. Pedro, you are Mike. Atilio, you are Maria. Okay. So, Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. I am in this field I complain about about my world terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I was very long yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, thank you. Now please, Jose Miguel and Consuelo. I am Mike. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my war terminal computer. I am sorry to have that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and I, I even, I know, I even tours on today. Let me see someone which a complaint form. We can send a new computer in the in now time. Thank you. You are welcome. Good, very good. Now mm -hmm. Eric Jose. And Hernan. Ready, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Uh, let me say, and uh, someone why a complaint form. Uh, we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. Now, um... Gabriela and Jennifer Lisette, please. Empiezo yo, Jennifer. Jennifer. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for calling the ET department. Hello, my name is Mario Shoa, and I need to find a complaint about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I am sorry to hear that. No, nothing I, yes, it, it was very slow yesterday and it didn't, didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in a time. Thank you. You're welcome. Perfect. Now, Jorge and Jose Abel. Okay. I am Mike George. Thank okay. you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Choa, and I need to, I need, I need to a high complaint about my work, my terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and, I, and it didn't turn on today. 
let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send any computer in no time. No, thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Now, please, Jose Fernando and Jose Miguel. Otra vez, no importa. Ah, ya, pues hasta una vez que se me están moviendo aquí. Ok, pero. No, yo aquí estoy. Yo aquí estoy. <laughs> uh, entonces, José Fernando y Luis Miguel. Ok. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Choa, and, and I need to fill a complaint about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint for a We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Correct. Now, uh -oh, Marcos and Nelson. Don Nelson. Okay. Thank oh. you. Huh? I am Mike. Yeah. Or Maria. Yeah, don't mind. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file complaint about my work terminal computer. <clears throat> I'm sorry to her, Tal, please discuss the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it died <clears throat> turn on today. <clears throat> Let me sing song which I can pray for. We can send a new a new computer in in new time. Thank you. Okay. Are you welcome? Okay. Now, please, Rene and Sofia. Okay, teacher. Um, Sofia, I am Mike. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello. My name is Maria Ochoa. I I need to file a complaint about my world terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very low yesterday. Uh, it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Perfect. And finally, Tony and William. Okay. Who is the beginning? Este, please, you first, William. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal, the computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in the time. Thank you. You're welcome. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, just focus on a few words. One is uh, this word. 
hear. Hear. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear. Okay. Hear. Hear. Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. That's um that is just to show empathy. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. You can say that in any situation, okay? So and the other word that I heard some difficulties is this. Describe. 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 Yes, please describe the problem. Okay, people. Now, basically, those two words. Okay, what expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? I'm sorry, do you hear that? Uh, for me? To show a solution in progress. Yeah. Any other idea, people? We can send a new computer in no time. Yeah. No, no, no. No. I think this one is better. We can send a computer in no time. And the other is, what seems to be the problem with the computer? Oh. What is the problem with the computer? It was, it was very, very slow, slow yesterday. And, and didn't it didn't go on today. Go on today. Yeah. One. Great. Well, I think we are not going to finish today, but let me explain this because we are going to start with this tomorrow. The activity is uh, write down two more reasons to file a complaint about a printer, talking about a printer, okay? One reason to file a complaint is it doesn't turn on. What are other reasons you can file? You could file a complaint uh, for a printer. Paper Think jam. Sorry? Paper jam. Okay. Paper jam. Any other reason for a uh, strange the noise? Strange noise. Funny noise. Ah, yeah, funny noise. And in this other chart, you have to choose a different uh, equipment. A different computer a photocopier, a fax machine, a, 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 what? So a register, whatever. So I don't know what other uh, equipment you use. Okay, think about that. Um, or that that equipment so in, imagine in my case I only the only thing I have problem with sometimes is uh, the router the internet router for example now Oh, you can think on different different equipment at work. 
And then you have to write three possible problems that you can have with that piece of equipment, okay? Tres posibles problemas que ustedes puedan tener con ese equipo que ustedes, del cual ustedes están hablando. And we are going to work on that tomorrow. Uh, yeah. The idea would be to file a complaint form. This is a, an idea of a complaint form. We're going to study this tomorrow and to work a little bit on that. Okay. Great. Now it's time for the last attendance of the evening. Here's the attendance list. Here it is. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Hey, Atilio. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Good night. Good night, Consuelo. Bye. -bye. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Erika de Nilsson. He's gone. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Present. Good night. Good night, Evelyn. Hernan Antonio Chacón. Present teacher. Okay, good Present. night. Good night. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Good night. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Very good. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Here, present teacher, and good night. Good See night. you tomorrow. See you. Jose Miguel Massa. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Good night too. Okay, good night. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present. Good night, everyone. Good night. Marcos Vidal Umaña. Okay, good night. Good night, teacher. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present teacher, good night. Okay, good night. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher, good night, everyone. Good night. Oh. Where am I? Here. Um, René Alessandro Teresón. Here I am, teacher. Good night. Good night. Ruth Abigail Brito. Not anymore. Sofía Carolina Hernández. Okay, Sofia, don't go. Good night. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night, William. Zuleima Catalan, not anymore. Present, Jorge teacher. Luis Martinez. Present. Have a good day. You too. And Jose Thank Fernando you. Marroquín. Present, Jose teacher. Okay. Okay, Sofia, I don't know if you have any question. Sí, tenía una pregunta. 
que no le entendí lo que me dijo al inicio. Al inicio. Uh -huh, que me dijo um, um, no, ahí no sé cuándo le contesté. ¿Cómo me lo dijo en inglés? Ah, uh, uh, de esta sesión, the personal session, I told you. Tonight, the personal session is with you. Eso, eso le estaba diciendo. ¿Y qué que me la, dijo ahí? Que la sesión personal es con, con usted hoy en la noche, estos 10 minutos. Ah, de verdad. Okay. <risa> no sabía. <risa> Eso es. Ya. Ok. Y entonces, si tiene alguna pregunta de, de algo. Mire, o sea, preguntas. Ahí voy aprendiendo con usted, Chicha. De verdad que <risa> no es mentira y no es broma que yo quisiera pedirlo para el para el otro <risa> módulo. Sí, ok. Yo le decía a la, a la teacher que tuve en el primer módulo que me estaba costando. Incluso me cuesta porque por la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Pero con usted, o sea, al inicio, incluso decía palabras en inglés y yo medio las captaba. No sé. Estamos mejorando. Sí. Ahí voy. La verdad, sí. Ok. Son como, bueno. por ejemplo, me cuesta entender como lo que estábamos viendo en la clase anterior. Como de los, ya les digo. Mi amor. Como lo, lo que vimos del ver, de los verbos. En la, de la de Wonge. Golai. Golai. Eso. Ah, ok. Repasemos eso. Gracias, teacher. Bueno. Ok, el would like es como para um, ofrecer algo, preguntarle algo, ¿verdad? A alguien, si le estamos ofreciendo algo. Eh, por ejemplo, y decimos, ¿verdad? Que se puede usar. Would like. Eh, con, con un nombre o con un sustantivo, como por ejemplo, decir, I would like a cup of tea. Yo quisiera o me gustaría, este would like es eso, ¿no? Gustaría, quisiera. Gustaría. Sí. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I would like a cup of tea. Estoy diciendo, a mí me gustaría una taza de té. ¿Ya? Y el uh -huh. otro es... Y ahí, o sea, puedo usar cualquiera de... Cualquiera de los... De... Ayú, de esto. Sí, sí. Sí. Ajá. Usted puede hacer la oración. No es como. Ah, I would like a cup of tea. Perfect. She would like a cup of tea. Perfect. We would like a cup of tea. Perfecto, no hay problema. Así como está en el cuadrito, okay. así se pueden usar. Así es. Igual de la forma negativa, ¿verdad? Como yo lo había puesto. Sí. Ahora, el otro es cuando lo que yo digo, más que con una, porque aquí estoy hablando una taza de té. 
mí me gustaría una taza de té. O a mí me gustaría, ¿verdad? Eh, un café. A mí me gustaría un... Eh, algo, hablando de algo. Ah, ¿Verdad? Ahora, cuando yo digo, I would like to, ya no estoy hablando de algo, sino de una acción. I would like to drink tea. Tomarte. Pero ya le agregó el tú. I would like to go out. Me gustaría salir. Go out. O sea, el tú se agrega cuando lo que yo quiero no es algo, sino hacer algo. Me explico. Como a mí me gustaría salir a bailar. Ajá. Uh -huh. no. Sí. I would like to go dancing. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Ahí le agrego el tú porque lleva el verbo. Exacto. Ok. She would like to eat pizza, por ejemplo. Si yo voy a hablar uh -huh. de una acción, es I would like to. Si yo voy a hablar de una cosa, solamente I would like. I would like. ¿Ya? Ok. Ya. Espérenme. Con esta, espérenme, teacher. Ahorita le digo que esta sí me quedé como que preguntando entonces esta es la, la forma afirmativa ¿o? sí allá afuera ahí. luego esta es la forma negativa básicamente es agregarle el not wouldn't I wouldn't like a mí no me gustaría a mí no me gustaría. Ese es el wouldn't. ¿Verdad? Recuerda que el wouldn't es la unión de would not. Would not se dice wouldn't. ¿Ya? Wouldn't. Sí. Es... Con la contracción. Ajá, wouldn't. Uh -huh. Wouldn't. Y por ejemplo en el cuadrito que le sigue, dicha. Estas son ya cómo hacer la pregunta. Ah. Ajá. Cómo preguntar. ¿Te gustaría? Por ejemplo, ¿te gustaría una taza de té? Would you like a cup of tea? Y ahí lo que estoy haciendo es preguntar. Y el siguiente ya es la respuesta. Esta es la respuesta, yes. ¿verdad? Yes, I would. Son respuestas. O oh, no, I wouldn't. Uh -huh. Es la, re la pregunta. Y ahí en lo último que dice como la gran, la gran, son como, son notas. Eso, Ajá, ¿no? esto es, por ejemplo, aquí lo que nos dice es que esta forma, I would like a cup of tea, por ejemplo, usar esta, usar el would like es más, más refinado que solo decir I want a cup mm. of tea. No, es igual que en español. ¿va? Yo quiero un café. Es más bonito si uno dice, me gustaría un café. ¿va? Uh -huh. Entonces es lo mismo. Es más bonito cuando se dice, I would like a, a coffee. Oh, sí. Que decir, I want a coffee. 
¿Ya? Ya. Yeah. Básicamente eso, ¿no? Sí, teacher. Gracias. Esto es lo que vimos. El would like. Para like solicitar it. algo, para ofrecer algo, es que se usa. Ok. Ok. Ok, dice. Perfecto. So that's all for today. Have a good night, Sofia. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.